And then guys, there's me again. Today is uh, Saturday, August 13. Looks like it makes it day 225. On a project survey and more. So guys, I do appreciate you being here. I'm going to try to make this big quick tonight. Uh, as usually, especially on Saturday nights, you know, I've got so much to do. I've still got to get my sermon done and get cleaned up and all that stuff. Uh, so I'll try to keep the jibber jabber down tonight. But I am glad that everybody's here tonight. Brother Woody, it's so glad to have you back. When I looked in my at my email this evening and seen all these comments uh, going back, you know, several days on my uh, on my videos, I, I I said, well, Woody's back. Uh, I said evidently he's the only one I know that would do that would go commenting on that many of them so brother it is good to have you back it really is uh, let's see guys uh, normal stuff just uh, you know pray for us uh, we're having some pretty bad storms right now which it's about 1230 uh, Saturday night so uh, had a pretty bad storm today uh, and I having a pretty good one right now so I'm just praying that the internet and TV and power and all that stays on long enough for me to get all this done so uh, but yeah anyway uh, just usual stuff guys pray for me and my family and my church and, uh, and let's pray for each other so let's get to the important part tonight and that is of course the Word of God so continuing on in John chapter 9, verse 39, here we go. Now we'll be going into John chapter 10 too, so I'm just going to keep right on reading. And Jesus said, For judgment I am come into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Jesus said unto them, If ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now you say, we see, therefore your sin remaineth. So John chapter 10 verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. See, there's only one way to, to God, and that's through Jesus. He's, he's saying that in a parable here, but he's, he's saying it. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and he leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Anyway, guys, it looks like it's about 11 verses I think I've done tonight, so we'll continue tomorrow in chapter 10, verse 9. Like I said, guys, it's, it's good to be here. Uh, i got to get off here, like I said, clean up and uh, finish my sermon and all that and get ready for, for tomorrow so I uh, appreciate you guys being here as always I love you guys if there's anything you need let me know um, I guess that's it so uh, good Lord willing I'll be back here tomorrow night until I see you guys again good night God bless <laughs>